Okay, we are gathered here today to join Erica and Christian in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Christian, you are my best friend and my greatest gift. Loving you is the easiest thing that I have ever done. The day you walked by my door room, I knew there was something special about you, and boy was I right. Erica, I feel extremely lucky and proud to be standing here beside you today. You have taught me that two people joined together with trust, respect, and open communication can be stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. When Christian actually first told me about Erica, uh, I knew that she was special because if he's going to leave California, leave me, then I figured she better be pretty damn special. And luckily she is. I'm so glad that you guys are together and you found somebody that can take care of you when I'm not around. <laughs> When Erica told me she was dating a guy from California, for those of you that know me, I was pretty skeptical. But then uh, she brought Christian home. We went out to dinner, and I told Heather that night, I like him, I love him, he's a great guy, I think he's the one. Christian is the best that she's ever dated, and he's a great guy. And while they are both incredible people individually, they somehow are even better together. In all my years of friendship, I have never seen Erica happier than she is when she's with you, Christian. And anyone who has spent any time at all with the two of you can see how much you absolutely love and care for one another. I'd know from day one you were the one. As a mom, with having all these boys, you hope that if one gets someone like you. And being the first one, I am so lucky. Hi, Dad. You look so pretty. You look handsome. You look really so big. so happy to finally have this day. It's, uh, we, we started dating for the first time when we were 18, so it's been seven years in the making with a little bit off and on, but it's one of those things where it's like, obviously we're always meant to be. We just took us a little bit too long to realize, and by we I mean me, but we're here. I can't wait for the rest of our lives together.
you are loving, you are supportive and funny, and most importantly, loyal. I love the life and home we have built together and look forward to the beautiful family we will have. I vow to always support you in everything you want and want to achieve. I promise to stand by you when times get tough. I promise to grow with you and challenge you always. But most importantly, I promise to love you with everything I have for forever and a day. You are the joy that I didn't know I lacked and the strength I didn't know I needed. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and for always supporting me. I promise to love you for who you are and who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that everything between us is rooted in love. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to always show how deeply I care for you. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my person, my love, and my life, today and always and I promise to love you as loyally for as long as I shall live. Erica and Christian have proclaimed their love and commitment to one another. In the sight of these witnesses and myself, I am so happy to pronounce you by the power vested in me, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I really think there's nobody on this planet better for Christian than you, Erica. Um, I think you guys are really great, and I'm I'm so happy to see you guys, you know, happy and healthy and have a healthy marriage for many, many years. And so if we could raise a glass, please, to Christian and Erica, I love you both. Thank you. Every dad wants their little girl to find a good man. I truly believe Erica has done that. Christian, you're like the son I never had. Dig, I wish me and my grandpa were here with you to see this, but I know they're looking from up above. As grandpa always said, LP, be a good girl. Dig, I'm proud of you, not because of your accomplishments, because, but because of the person you have become. To Erica and Christian, a long, loving life together. Cheers. I know that I personally cannot wait the rest of your journey to unfold. And tonight's just the beginning of that. So if everyone could grab a glass and join me in a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Giardo. Love you guys. Cheers. You're married? Anything you want to say? It's about you, damn time. I love it's you. It's about damn time! <laughs>